it's May Bank holiday and we're back at Maximus. We've got a couple of days now, the kids are being cared for by grandparents so we're going to try and make the most of it and we're going to have a good go at the hull so we're going to start scraping it back to the original gel coat. Um, I've got a couple of new tools to try out, the, the Baco scraper here and um, I also ordered a draper one and I'll see how I get on with those as well as all the scrapers that we've already got in our toolbox. So that's the first job for today. At least it's nice and shady because um, it's a really hot day today. My goggles, got my mask, got my glove, my HUD. I'm ready to go. So we've got two scrapers. Um, the first one is the Baco cemented carbide scraper, which you have to be quite controlled about because it's very sharp. But you start one smooth long swoop and you can see that it is taking off the top coat of anti-foul as well as the bottom coat but there you can see it's got sharp edges so you can see that it you has got a tendency to dig in slightly so if you took the edges off the corners that might be an idea the other scraper we've got is this draper scraper and um, just a, a normal paint stripping scraper and you can see this one's okay for taking up the top coat of Saskatoon anti towel and it's far less brutal than the Baco but it's much harder to make any impression into the harder anti towel underneath it So we've been going at this for about an hour and the Baco scraper is by far the best. Um, James has been using that and he's managed to get all of this done. I've been using the other scraper on the rudder and I've, I've done you know, about a 30 centimetre square patch. So we're kind of figuring that it's kind of pointless for both of us going if we've only got one Baco scraper. So we might give it a pause here, do some other jobs on the boat. Um, well, just one of us uses a Baco to keep going on the hull. I'll show you the, the rudder. Um, not my finest work, but I've not actually done this before. So um, this is the area that I managed with the, um, with the draper scraper, a normal paint stripper scraper, compared to what James managed with the Baco. What can you see? At the waterline, underneath the two layers of anti-foul, there's a third strip of black anti-foul, I guess, um, which is quite a lot harder and a lot resist more resistant to the Baco blade. So you see the dust gathers everywhere around where my goggles were and around where my face mask was, um, and my HUD has still got dust everywhere. Uh, first mistake um, with these gloves, rubber, um, I thought that the fabric went over the rubber and it doesn't so my hands managed to still get coated in the dust even though I had these gloves on. So I now switch to these type of gloves and we'll see how we get on with these. Um, done fairly well with the scraper, it feels like the blade's getting a bit dull and if you just see here there's quite a few scrapes um, where I've caught the edge and hopefully these will be okay. Um, it's taken quite a long time and it's hard work and 
can't see because your goggles get all misted up and all sweaty. I'm gonna go and get some varnish so that one of us can be doing some sanding and varnishing up there while the other person is working on the hull because it's quite hard work. Um, it kind of it's worth doing it for a bit and then having a break, doing something else, and then coming back to it. <laughs> We were, we, we spent a few hours now scraping the hull and it's looking really good and then somebody came up to us and said to us, oh you're doing it all wrong, you've gone too far back, you don't need to do that, oh, oh no there's scrapes in the, in the gel coat, you need to watch out. So um, a bit of a panic but I rang Ben. Sutcliffe Davis, our marine surveyor, sent him some pictures and he said, no, that's fine, keep going, you're doing a really good job. So we're just carrying on with scraping back that anti-fouling, ready to apply some new anti-fouling hopefully next week. This is a tap, it's one of my favourite places because um, if you think it's going to get too much hard work and you want to imagine what it's like to be on the water, you can come over here and look. Wow. That'd be us someday. So um yesterday we took off a lot of the anti-fouling and we're gonna carry on today. Um both of us wanted to do it, but really this this scraper, the backhoe scraper, was so good, um, the other scrapers just weren't worth using. So we're going to carry on with this one, but we've got a, a draper scraper today, which we picked up from Force 4 Chandlery. So I'm going to have a go at this one, and hopefully, between the two of us, we might get the hole finished. Suiting up. Um, pretty good since we discovered the right tools for the job. Um, I'd say, I mean, Maximus is 28 foot, and I'd say that in, I'd say, five hours of scraping, we've managed to do four fifths of the starboard side. Um, but what I would say is the, um, the stuff on the curves probably takes double the time to get off from the stuff. Um, that you can do with easier access from either standing or sitting. Right. And has it got easier as you've gone along? Um, you, where you've got the drier anti-foul, it does come off a lot easier. Um, and you could probably use something quite a little less aggressive than the Baco, but certainly where it's it's still quite firm and in good condition, the anti-foul, you definitely want the Baco to take it off. Back to work again. Um, yesterday I didn't have my zip done up properly. I had it down just a little bit and when I got home I had a completely blue chest and anti-fouling is horrible to get off. It took about half an hour in the shower scrubbing super hard with a bar of soap. Um, so definitely zip to the top. I've got my goggles, I've got my mask and I've got my gloves. And now I'm gonna go and give James a hand. So I'm about to try the four-sided bladed scraper um, from Draper. And this one, it's got two edges to it. It's got this grooved one at the top, and then it's got this one here. Um, 56 by 64 millimeter blade. And it says it's suitable for removing paint, varnish, sealants, and decals, etc. And a grip knob for applying pressure. Um, I've been using using this blade here, and I'm finding the keel is a lot easier than the hull. So I'll show you what it's like on the keel. easier if you put your if you hold it and you put your body into it like that 
I found that I've been wearing these gloves and then these gloves on top just to have a thicker padding to avoid blisters. What's interesting is this bit here on the keel is just flaking off in big chunks. So if I do this, so you can see behind me I've been working on the keel and I've been working with the uh, draper scraper and I just swapped for the back of the scraper and this one is so much better. It's, um, we tried quite a few different scrapers. The draper's quite good, but um, this one seems to get through two layers of paint in one go. The other one takes a lot more. You've got to lean on the scraper much more and really put your body into it, whereas this one just kind of scrapes a lot more smoothly. So um, yeah, I've been really impressed with the tobacco scraper. This is next to no good now. Um, on the anti foul, the blade has blunted really quite quickly. So I think it's fine for the sail drive and for the keel, but the Baco is the long term winner for scraping anti foul. But if you try one of the other blades on the four blades? Well, this, this isn't new anyway, isn't it? We've only been using it for about half an hour, so. Yeah. And it's blunt, so. Try, try a couple of other blades, but um, yeah, might as well. Right, I'll give you that back then and I'll carry on with that. Shall I try some more blades? Um, I think it's fine for the keel. Yeah, I'll just keep going on the keel rather than. Um... I just want to smash through this. I know. It's been a good day. We've nearly finished the whole. Um, it's just, it's really hard work. It's really tiring. Um, it's definitely a job that I would pay somebody to do. Um, but we've made really good progress, and hopefully, we can just finish off the little bits tomorrow. And I can't wait to pressure wash this boat again because it's filthy, and I'm filthy. But it's a good day. Good day. We've got a lot done. Um, what it looks like and uh, ah, nice and blue definitely need to go and have a shower now wash my face here in the boat yard with some fairy liquid before I get back to the B&B because I don't think she'll be too impressed if I turn up looking like this it'll have to do Day three, scraping off the anti fouling. Haven't got much to do now. Just this tiny little bit left on the bottom of the starboard side. How have you got on? Good, just finished off scraping the hull, which is not the most pleasant of jobs, um, but hopefully it's onwards and upwards from here on in with the exciting stuff and gin and tonics that's what I was sold on. Let's have a look.